break up and I'll go back. And my girlfriend said, if it, if it happens again, I won't talk to you again. I'm mm -hmm. done. You know, mm -hmm. it got to a stand but where everybody was like, but I was still, right and sometimes back. when I go right back, I don't even tell my friends I'm, I've gone right back. Because I'm thinking, you know, maybe, again, I, I've gotten to a certain stage that I want to settle. And I want, I want that thing. So let me see if I can create mm -hmm. that with this person. See? You know, but people don't change. Like you're saying, people don't change. People are who they are. And when someone shows you who they are the first time, run. But unfortunately, Simple. Yeah, this running that you're talking about is clearly I what our run. young lady is unable to do. To and do. I think that yeah. it could, it could, it could be, you know, it could be one of two things. It could be the brokenness mm -hmm. of the background, mm -hmm. or it could be literally the lack of confidence yeah. that I'm making. An, I, no, I, I you're making, confidence. making an no, excuse I did. for. I had confidence, but I made. I, I think what I did was. I, I blamed myself for mm. who he, for, for what he's becoming. Yeah. That it's your Because I felt like I didn't have the time. I was always away working, mm. you know. But then, mm. like you're saying, if, if who did he grow up looking up That's to? Mm. Exactly. Who are the role models role in his model. life? Mm. None of my cousins would do that to any of their girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And I can say that with every inkling in me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know what I mean? What, is it? what Joc Jocelyn is bringing, is, is, is talking about, is, is just bringing up a thought in my mind where... We talked about this very briefly before we coming on air, mm -hmm. where more women mm -hmm. feel that the validation mm -hmm. is in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a broken relationship, yeah. whether it's a horrible yeah. relationship. Yeah. Fact is, I'm in a relationship, you are. Yeah, no. yeah. Yep. <laughs> but she's 25, yeah. though. Yeah, she's 25. At 25, I don't know. Oh, you don't know. 25. I'm 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 25. i am 25 i am but you see, I love the fact that you came out naked. Mm -mm. You yeah. said some very, very silly. Mm. You, mm. you, you're speaking mm. the mind of most young women. Yeah. Mm. For you, at least, you didn't experience dysfunction. Mm -hmm. mm. But you cleave to a person who may have experienced dysfunction. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And so whenever there is a dysfunction growing up, it will play out in several ways. Mm -hmm. right. And so I have come to a place of not really judging people for what they do, mm -hmm. but seeing how we can correct the eels, because mm -hmm. the root determines the offshoot. Yes. Okay. So now we are having a man, you say 30, is he mature? maturity has nothing to do with age. age. You Absolutely. could be 60 and still acting like a baby. Mm -mm. Oh, yes. And mostly he says something very pivotal too. The truth is, you can't really give another person what you don't have. Yeah. You can't. So the guy is jumping around. I wouldn't even think he doesn't love her. It's just that he lacks self-control mm -hmm. and he's not been able to define what his life is all about. Mm -hmm. And he has not been able to draw, draw, to draw boundaries mm -hmm. on healthy love life. Mm -hmm. And so when you don't establish healthy boundaries, you are bound to veer off the track and act foolish. Yep. And people will judge your foolishness, but not know that you don't know anything better. Yes. And the system is saddled with all this. And another thing probably I'm seeing is, it's not about this girl alone. Several girls and women, and women. in respect of their ages. Yeah, and women. Because now, let's assume this girl never really had the validation of her parents. Mm -hmm. And he got hooked up to this guy who does not also know how to define where he's heading, yeah. heading mm -hmm. to. The girl should realize that the brokenness he f she felt growing up that is pushing her into this, if she dares to settle with this man, the children will experience worst scenario. You see, this thing that you're saying... It's a cycle. It's a it's cycle. A cycle. And, and you know what, and, but you know what happens, and I'm glad we're having this conversation, what happens in most instances is the excuse you already make in your mind that, exactly. well, you know what, if I too have a baby for him, he will Would settle down. down. You are touching on the crux of the matter. And that's why she says she listens to me on A. I am so, so, so hard on this yeah. point. Let's, let's be real. Sex has nothing to do with love. Yeah. It has nothing to do with love. Not even his, if, if, if. No matter <laughs> says, how, oh, no, is, no, 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 This no, is, no. you are the no. best. No, and you I'm know, just, no. Just saying, you, oh, you are just saying. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Fifi. I'm, no, I'm so a poor guy. He's but it's true. Like, but, uh, you know, no, no, but, but even, when, even when I'm caught between the truth, which is, that is the fact. That is what it is. It's so okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay just to sit here to listen to all these things because it informs. Like it's so informative for me right now. It's it's 
It's the validation. It's, it's self actualization. Mm-hmm. Knowing, you know, knowing thyself. Mm-hmm. And know what, listen, if you have that conversation yourself and know what you have, you know your worth. Don't you don't make those excuses for something. something. Like, it gets oh. to a point where, and I get the excuses part. Let me tell you something. I disagree with that. Though. No, no, no. no that's see, true. Okay. Let me tell you something. That's true. There are two sides. There are two sides. There are two sides. There two sides. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Give, give me your side. So, the, here's a side, okay. Now, if you keep making excuses for me, mm. you've given me a leverage to do whatever I want to do. Yes. 100%. As soon as you come to my defense of something evil, like there's no recovery, like what has it done? I know myself. I was like, it's Jocelyn, wait, give me one week. So, wait, hang on a second. Mm-hmm. He, knows he knows that you have that weakness for him. Yes. yes. So he, knows. He, he, knows. he knows. He knows. Yes. He knows. And let me tell you, it's so, it's so, I see. It's so, un, it's, it's flimsy that mm. guys, I'm going to speak a guy's mind to you here. Yeah. Mm. When we th- say we know a woman, we say that we know their weakness. Wow. That's yeah. the truth. I know a woman, I'm thinking her weakness. That's it. I'm not thinking her strength. Mm-hmm. I'm not thinking. I'm thinking her that weakness. Yeah, right. You know her strength that you are. Yeah, yeah, more, yeah, more. That's of, what they pray on. Yes. That's what I pray on. Yes. Mm. I know it. Yeah. So I have all that in my head, and I know for a fact if I mess up, if I do, if I do anything so bad to tear us apart, and I walk into Justin's mm. office and I have a box of chocolate, oh, let it be her sheets. Sorted. Let it be her sheets. May, may ladies listen to this young. That's true. Uh, uh, but that's one hundred percent true. That is so true. Did you say chocolate? <laughs> just holding the hand and saying, baby, I'm so sorry, and just pretending just a text. Cock- <laughs> Holding hands. Just a text. Then, I'm sorry. Hey, it's fine. It's you hey. there hey, thinking babe. about you. Yeah. yeah. You are so tonight. And that is self-esteem. Ah, <laughs> dinner because tonight. Because when, ha- when you place uh, a certain level of value on yourself, mm-hmm. people don't mess around with yeah. who you are. Self-esteem. Yeah. Self-esteem. No, but at, after a while, when you place a certain value on yourself and you feel like, okay, no man is actually... Um, you know, proposing or asking you out, you sometimes tend to, and I'm speaking from experience, you tend to bring down your values a little, a notch. Not because you don't know what you want. Your you know standard. what you want. You, you, you bring your standard, you, you bring it down. You are not bringing it down a little. Some people completely drop it. Yeah. Just so they can open the gate. Just gates. so they can open, exactly. The but then because again, they believe that a, f- a validation and affirmation comes from your motherhood, of you are being a mother or being married. That's because society has made it so. Now, wh- when I go on Instagram or Twitter, the kind of questions people ask me is, okay, yeah, right, whatever. Okay, you want an award. When are you getting married? Oh, I get that all the time. I'm human. So you see, I know, I know what I want. Yeah. I know my standards. I have my values. Yeah. I know what I'm looking yeah. for. But because mm. of society, mm. I would date a guy yeah. who would treat me anyhow. But I'm trying to hold so you on. Can, you can see I'm me trying together to hold with on somebody. So I can put it together so yeah. that at the end of the day, you know what? I'm married. Yeah. You understand? Or I'm with somebody. I did not so, even yeah. believe that I would even go through that. If yeah. anybody had told me this a few years ago, I'm like, nah. And because I knew what I wanted. You are. Like, because you, you understand? But society are. makes it that way for yeah. you. Because we're going to be yeah, talking. Pressure. We're, we're going to be everybody. talking. Oh, wow. The word pressure. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling the you. The word pressure. Anita. We're going to be talking about. Because at 25, there is pressure coming from somewhere. At 25, Justin, thanks for the word. At 25, there's pressure coming from somewhere. If it's not family saying that, listen, by 30, you should be married. So you think, hey, then I should start settling for this one. It is something else. We're going to be talking a little bit more about it. It, get, it, gets, it gets very deep because, as I said before, personal experiences allow you mm-hmm. to dig deep mm-hmm. and uproot mm-hmm. so that you can benefit. We'll be right mm-hmm. back after this. is your favorite lily rice. Anytime you go to buy your favorite lily rice, you have to look out for the following. The thread used to seal the bag must be red and green in color. A new bag of lily rice doesn't have any holes at the seal without stitching. Bear in mind that lily rice is approved by the Food and Drugs Authority. As a customer-focused product, some of the packaging you'll see has our festive greeting message, like Happy Easter, Merry Christmas, etc. Because Lele celebrates the festive seasons with the customer. Remember that the one with the festive greeting and the one without a festive greeting are all the same. So enjoy! Lele Rice, tasty food, happy family. She just paid for her lunch. 
and everywhere you go. It is almost 2018, and I think it's time we stop using the Wachi seller, the Banku seller, and the Blue Kiosk to give directions. Now, every place in Ghana has its own unique digital address, which means now you can find any place with the new Ghana Post GPS app. Log into the Ghana Post GPS mobile app. Enter the digital address of the place you are looking for in the search bar. Tap the search icon to reveal the street name, region, district, and postal code for the location. Tap the Routes button, which is the second button from the left at the bottom of your screen, and follow the map right to your destination. Get your digital address now. Looking for this? Mommy, you're the best. You always know what's best, Mom. Now that's different. It's the same Gino Tomato place, but in a convenient new pack. Expensive? It costs even less. Mom always knows what's best. Family's always happy with Gino. The times we have here. Good moments we share. Gino truly. Jumia Black Friday Festival. Enjoy 22 days of deals with more than 30,000 deals. 32 inch digital LED TV for 799 Ghana CDs. Motorola C Plus 4G for 249 Ghana CDs. And more mind blowing deals every day from November 24th to December 15th. Jumia, the online shop you can trust. Download our app for more deals. Munch it, chew it, slurp it, enjoy it, derp it, master pass it, choose it, size it, squeeze it, pose it, take it, master pass it, master pass it, master pass it. Anytime, any day, eh, everything that we do, we master pass it, see it, smell it, love it, skip it, leave it, push it, master pass it, slide it, shake it, pop it, rock it, twist it, beat it, master pass it, tap it, tap it. Snap it, scan it, size it, pin it, master pass it, master pass it, master pass it. Anytime, any day, eh, everything that we do, we master pass it. Oh, hi, I'm making my delicious yum fritters today. My dad loves them, which makes it easier to ask for extra pocket money. I use yam, chicken breast, seasoning, zucchini, carrots, spinach, flour, baking powder, herbs, pepper, and my favorite, brytol. First, prepare a thick batter. Then create a hollow center in the yam and boil. Dip the yam in the batter and deep fry with brytol. Season the chicken, stir fry, and saute vegetables. Garnish and serve. Everyone has that one meal that is unbeatable. What's yours? Join the One Meal Challenge and show the world why absolutely nobody makes that one memorable dish like you can. This dish always works. <laughs> Frital, making life memorable. It is hot in the studio, emotions flying, and you see Jocelyn just throwing her fingers in the hat. I know that would never happen. But let me tell you something. <laughs> the beautiful thing about this show is a letter might come from an individual, but it's, it stares so many wonderful feelings. Mm -hmm. And wonderful because you've overcome something. Mm -hmm. And here, Jocelyn is just telling us about, hey, some glasses she threw <laughs> and some LED screens she broke. <laughs> oh my goodness, before she said, walk out! 
<laughs> We've got to say a special thank you to our sponsor, Vodafone. The world of business is so fast-paced right now, digitally driven and ever-changing, and we want you to get into that world. And that's where the Vodafone Ready Business Test comes in. It shows you exactly where your business stands and provides expert advice on how you can transform your business using technology. Tech is the new word. So let Vodafone help you take your business to the next level. Visit us at vodafone.com.gh slash business and click on how ready are you you can also call us 0800 100 or 0302 the future is exciting ready i'm going to go to jocelyn because right now you are sitting next to me <laughs> she could turn pink oh come on no but jocelyn tell me about tell me about the ability and and for for all of us at which point in time should our young lady be moving away what should now now this i the signs i don't know which one is the sign because you've seen him That's he has you done you, you. <laughs> but she has been through that she's gone back so now what's what's the next sign what's the next sign you see, the thing sometimes when you're in these kind of relationships mm. you're waiting for a sign and i always feel like god gives you the signs mm. but you make excuses even for mm. god you know because for instance the guy i dated the first few mm. months of the relationship he cheated and i saw him and he, you know, it was one of those things where he's like, oh, nothing happened, and da, 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 and I made an excuse for him. That was the first time when I was supposed to have run away. So mm -hmm. once I put up, like Fifi was saying, once you, once you put up with that, he, he knows mm -hmm. that whatever he does, he can get away with murder, you know. But the signs are always there. Once somebody shows you who they, they really are, That's it. like I say, you need to run. And like you were saying, Anita, mm -hmm. you need a special grace because you can't just do it on yeah. your own as a yeah. person. I couldn't do it on my own as a person. I mean, I thought I was on a spell at, at a point because I'm like, why would, I, why would I go through this? Why would I even let this person put me through this? Mm. Is he even worth it? Mm. You know, why am I becoming something I don't like? And th mm. I, I, it's, mm. it's, it's only a matter of time. This lady is going to turn into something she doesn't mm. like. She'll probably start smashing mm. things and hurting herself or whatnot because, because of a man. No. You know? Fifi, you're, you're a man. Again, I, I apologize, okay. but you're the only man amongst <coughs> us. So I can, only, I can only come to you. What language does it take for a man to understand that he's hurting a woman's feelings? Ah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Fifi, what do men want? Most men don't know what they want. Okay. Tell they're still trying to figure out what they want. And if, so this it if this young lady were if, your if sister. This, if, if, oh, come on. Let's go. See, here's a, she actually has the answer to the... the she, I think in her letter, the mm. answer was right there. Mm. That once the baby comes, once the ex brings for the baby, sure. everything is going to change. And he's going to... Yes, trust me, men will gravitate towards their son's mother or their daughter's mother, even though he's telling you stories like this. Mind you, I feel like this whole conception... I started when you were still with him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was anyway, it was ongoing. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Anyway, so me telling you at this point that oh, don't worry, I just want to take care of my baby, and that it's I'm I'm lying to you. Mm -hmm. I'm still keeping you around for something. She's five mm -hmm. months pregnant. Perhaps they can't sleep with her. You know, like she's got to start. So like, okay, you stay around. We can be doing this till mm -hmm. you know the baby comes, and I can just leave you and go to the other side. You know, a lot of people will give an excuse and say, well we're not married yet and well maybe the pregnancy came when we had broken up so well you know technically he she's didn't five really months. yeah but Charlie, the excuses are they there they up three months yeah the excuses are there <laughs> she will come up with all sorts of excuses if she were your daughter right now god forbid that thing oh amen will she listen <laughs> if she will listen the truth of the matter is that sometimes <clears throat> people don't really listen mm. the the best way i put things across to younger people is to ask them how they want to see their lives in the next 10 20 30 mm -hmm. years Deep. Mm -hmm. Because when, when, you, when you allow just the noun to influence your judgment, you are simply unfair to yourself. Yeah. Life is progressive. Yeah. So most of these things that you're making excuses for, in the next 30 years, will you look back and celebrate the decisions you yeah. made? Next year. That's what people don't really consider. Mm -hmm. And when you don't consider that, what you do is that you create um, you create um, pain for the unborn generation. Mm -hmm. So we become so selfish that everything is about me, myself, and I, and how I feel, and what is going on, and all that. I know when it comes to relationship, there's certainly bound to be a child, like this young man. Uh, he's going to have a, 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 a baby's mother <laughs> that he is still dating. It's not as if he had broken up 
I, I'm sorry to say, he hasn't broken up. They never broke at up. All, at all, at all, at all, together. At all. He says something beautiful. Maybe he's afraid of the advance, uh, the, the pregnancy, how advanced it is. So he can't really have sex the way he wants. Because this is free for all matter now. She mm -hmm. Baby has come. Mm -hmm. And now he's turned back to this one. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one has already donated herself. Okay? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. Not many girls will keep relationship without offering sex. Mm -hmm. Okay? At the end of the day, she's asking, what do I do? He has, she has forgot, forgiven him. What do I do? Because I believe when the baby comes, the attention and all that will be drawn. Oh, God. I beg you. I beg you. Oh, Father Lord, have mercy on young people. Mm. Run for 40. I love it. Don't <laughs> allow any saying. fear of the unknown. Don't allow any fear of our remain single. What's yes. that? There are people who are married who would That's want to true. donate their partners to you free of charge with no refunds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no ah. refunds. <laughs> they don't want any refunds. It is that bad. Oh, oh, please. It is that bad. And because we don't hear all the stories. You embrace pain again, yeah. and you get to the point where the cycle continues. Wake up. Wake up. A man who cheats on you and impregnates another girl, and you met him with another, you met him red-handed, not with the one carrying pregnancy, another with one. another one. Mm. He is a man who is reckless on a mission to kill himself and anybody he carries along. See? Run, so run, 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 run. And let me debunk this fact. That because you are a woman, if you don't marry, then you are not full. Mm. Where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. When you don't know the reason for marriage, you marry for the wrong reasons yeah. and it's going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you embrace that you don't know what it was meant for is bound to hurt you. Mm -hmm. So many people have become sick with, sick, uh, with you know, having sicknesses that is taking so much money. Mm -hmm. It's emotional breakdown. Mm -hmm. Go to psychiatric hospital. It's relationship matters. Come on, cancer is free radicals. That your mm -hmm. stress levels that your body was mm -hmm. not meant to carry is come upon you. High blood pressure. All of these are signs of failed relationship mm -hmm. and bad marriages. Yeah. Please, how best can we put this across? Let this girl please leave. I'm not saying don't greet him. He's still a friend. Let him <laughs> remain a friend. <laughs> but I'm begging you, don't ride this horse with him. Mm. Don't greet him, eh? You have to greet him. You Be have to greet him. him. Oh, do you want to, do you want to miss heaven because of somebody? No. Don't allow somebody to see. I don't him. greet him. But, but, I, but I, I, will, I, will not, I will not greet him. He's not my friend. Okay. Whatever we had is over. I don't hate him. No, no, no. no. But, but if like you see him outside, you wouldn't greet him. No. You know, that, because that, is not, day, that can stir up something. That, that is no. I don't want to leave that. That 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 that, that room is why you need a therapy. You need because I understand where you are coming from. But if you go through therapy, there's a place of wholeness you come into. Mm -hmm. That your decision is not based on frivolities. Mm -hmm. You are so secure in who you are, and you're not going to allow anybody mess around with you. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't just happen. That is, for, course, you, you yes. must be able to mm -hmm. go to a certain level yes. of counsel and mm -hmm. brought to a certain level of understanding mm -hmm. of who you are. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying this? Probably if you're a Christian, you know that holding, not greeting and harboring whatever, mm -hmm. you, may, you may excuse yourself, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's not worth it because you're going to truncate your destiny and you're going to jeopardize your, your opportunities yeah. with eternity yeah. just because of somebody's mistake. Yeah, but what if you don't, you don't hate him? You know, you just... You know, Oh, no, no, no. That means, that means if it's in a problem, you wouldn't help him out. Mm. That's it. If he were dying, you, you don't withhold that? good from people just well, because they course. hurt you. If he of were dying, if, if, if he called yeah. you in the middle of the night and said, I'm dying, would you? He wouldn't call me in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay, okay, you should have seen the eyes. I was like, he wouldn't call me in the middle of the night. Um, we're sitting with. I feel like that's about me. <laughs> no, 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 but. but there are some things that have come out yeah. Yeah. on this what panel, said, which is which is imperative. And it, I th you know, sometimes it only takes your experience to mm -hmm. know what to See. advise I'll someone advise to. Because yeah. yes. if you've never experienced it, or if it's, if somebody close to you has an experience, you don't know what to say. And we had this conversation very very slightly on the importance of our parents or mm -hmm. our friends or whatever mm -hmm. having honest conversations with us. Mm -hmm. Because if you had told me you've been through this. I would say, how do you get yourself. out of it? Yes. Oh, I wouldn't. I would even run away from it. Yeah, that's a reality. Parenting, yeah. parenting. We're yeah. going to come and give our beautiful, lovely twenty-five-year-old lady out there a solution. Um, but for now, as I always say, ladies, you are crying so much. But Sasha Oko has a way for you to cover it all up. Makeup is meant to, you know, enhance the beauty on the outside, whilst you deal with whatever is broken on the inside. Tips from the powder room. Up next. 
Hi, welcome to another episode of Tips from the Powder Room. Today is going to be slightly different. I've had a lot of viewers asking me questions about makeup. So today I'm taking this opportunity to answer one viewer's question. I can really relate to this question because I have oily skin. And to start off, the viewer must take care of her skin by cleansing, toning and moisturizing. So Aesthetic has an oil defense cleanser which I use and it helps me a lot. Now decision making, what to buy, the, how to buy the right foundation. There are different types of foundations on the market. There's oil based and there's water based. If you have oily skin, I would recommend you use water based foundation. Now I personally, I use a um, liquid foundation compared to cream based foundation because I have a lot of oily skin. So you need to compare both. Now with me, I have two th different types of foundation. I have a type of foundation I use during the day, I have a different type of foundation I use in the evening. Only because during the day it's very sunny, it's very hot, I'm exposed to the heat, so I end up sweating quickly, I end up producing a lot of oil on my skin. So in the afternoon, I use more powder and very less foundation. In the evening, because I want a really nice coverage and because most of the time in the evening, I'm going out, I want to look flawless, I apply a lot of foundation on my face with powder on my face. So you really need to get to know yourself and get to know, it's about your lifestyle as well. If you're, I mean, excuse me, you're a contractor, you're going to be under the sun, I wouldn't recommend you to put on foundation because you're most likely to drip under like 10 minutes. But if you're going to be, you're working in an office, a seed on, you can have oily, you can have an oil-based foundation because you might sweat, but it won't be as bad as being under the sun. I think um, everybody should have a translucent powder. It's a clear powder. There's no color in it. It also helps to reduce the oil on your face. So this is one product I would recommend. So aesthetic, we have that as well. So you can check it out on our, our page. To my viewer who sent in the question, I noticed you didn't use any powder. It's really important that. Once you use your primer and foundation, you should set your makeup with powder, a loose powder or a pressed powder, just to help the makeup look flawless. It reduces the oil and the shine on your face. So try this technique and let me know how it goes. This has been tips from the powder room. Feel free to send us any questions you have related to makeup and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. You know, you're human. We're just talking off air about the humanness of what women go through. And, you know, we're talking about how Jocelyn is just talking about her personal experience. And the outside looks exquisite. It's beautiful. Girl is, is on point. But the reality is behind every, and I always say, behind every single woman, there is a brokenness of a story or a story of a brokenness yeah. that, listen, then you start to congratulate the woman because... You say, oh, you've been through that yeah. and you still did this. Yeah. Then now I understand why you're so good at what you do. Yeah. But we don't have any extra time on this show. My, my director, Anita, refuses to give me 30 extra minutes. <laughs> We're going for a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit about potato, 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 potato. And then, obviously, Uncle Fee, Reverend Fee, <laughs> Councillor Fee. And, of course, Mama Kathy will help us find solutions for you uh, out there. You. Yes, JCD. You'll help us as well. <laughs> we'll be right back. Business hasn't always been like this until I took the Vodafone Ready Business Test. It showed me what I could do to transform my business. I have fast and reliable internet service so I can share my work with people around the world. Sometimes when I travel for shows, I am still able to stay in touch with my staff and customers back home with my affordable mobile bundle. I can also conveniently receive payments through Vodafone Cash. After I took the Ready Business Test, I got tailor-made solutions from Vodafone Business. Now more equipped than others. How ready are you? Visit vodafone.com.gh slash business to take the free test now. The future is exciting. Ready? Oh, hi. I'm 
making my delicious yum fritters today. My dad loves them, which makes it easier to ask for extra pocket money. I use yam, chicken breast, seasoning, zucchini, carrots, spinach, flour, baking powder, herbs, pepper, and my favorite, fry tall. First, prepare a thick batter. Then create a hollow center in the yam and boil. Dip the yam in the batter and deep fry with fry tall. Season the chicken, stir fry, and salty vegetables. Garnish and serve. Everyone has that one meal that is unbeatable. What's yours? Join the one meal challenge and show the world why absolutely nobody makes that one memorable dish like you can. This dish always works. <laughs> Frital, making life memorable. This is your favorite lily rice. Anytime you go to buy your favorite lily rice, you have to look out for the following. The thread used to seal the bag must be red and green in color. A new bag of lily rice doesn't have any holes at the seal without stitching. Bear in mind that lily rice is approved by the Food and Drugs Authority. As a customer-focused product, some of the packaging you'll see has our festive greeting message, like Happy Easter, Merry Christmas, etc. Because lily celebrates the festive seasons with the customer. Remember that the one with the festive greeting and the one without a festive greeting are all the same. So enjoy! Lele Rice. Tasty food, happy family. Jumia Black Friday Festival. Enjoy 22 days of deals with more than 30,000 deals. 32-inch digital LED TV for 799 Ghana CDs. Motorola C Plus 4G for 249 Ghana CDs. And more mind-blowing deals every day from November 24th to December 15th. Jumia, the online shop you can trust. Download our app for more deals. When they flip and roll and start to crawl away, tape diapers can be hard to put on and can come loose. Then it's time for Pampers Pants with all-around fit. They're easy to pull on even when they're moving around for a great fit and up to 12 hours of dryness when they start to crawl. You know it's time for Pampers Pants. Now available in the new Pants Park at Nine Ghana City's recommended price. Oh, hi. I'm making my delicious yum fritters today. My dad loves them, which makes it easier to ask for extra pocket money. I use yam, chicken breast, seasoning, zucchini, carrots, spinach, flour, baking powder, herbs, pepper, and my favorite, fry tall. First, prepare a thick batter. Then create a hollow center in the yam and boil. Dip the yam in the batter and deep fry with fry tall. Season the chicken, stir fry, and salty vegetables. Garnish and serve. Everyone has that one meal that is unbeatable. What's yours? Join the one meal challenge and show the world why absolutely nobody makes that one memorable dish like you can. This dish always works. <laughs> Frital, making life memorable. <laughs> ah, over. Say, say, for for the say, who is your wonderful cash and a top creditor? Says, propose, are you? The same time, the here and say, would you buy the phone cash? But our credit, no, best and with text messenger, code room, the code room, and the pen room, when you have any credit. Say, say, yeah, what the Vodafone cash at a credit? What to miss on the star credit in the money pen room? A used to count home. So, be able to star one three five star. Now, what the code rush? No, I'm going to hash. Alabay, what if I kick you? I do the pen show, but you go so say, goodly, Vodafone, so I had the why. The future is exciting. Ready? don't change 25 year old girl you are about to walk out because the messages right here on facebook all are pointing to you 
Um, Ejewa says, please, my sister, you already have the answer. Walk out before he turns your life around. Uh, Kofi Siao says, if you were my sister, I would have come right there on TV and insulted you and even held our parents responsible. Oh, wow, that's deep. Um, <laughs> uh, um, Kwame Wusu Kwame says, listen, my dear, I think I really admire what Jocelyn is saying. I think there's a problem in your past. Mami Kathy, you're looking fantastic on television. And you, Fee, you are so smart. I never knew you were this smart. Oh, hey! <laughs> no, we'll take, it, we'll take it as a compliment. Um, thank you very much for your messages. Keep them coming through. But um, I would like to talk to Jocelyn quickly about Potato Potato <laughs> because it's won all these international awards. We're so proud of you. Thank you. It is a beautiful thing to see that somebody can hold the flag of Ghana up high. Yes. Big dreams, great things happening, but tell me about Potato Potato. So Potato Potato is, uh, is, a, is a beautiful story about a married couple who um, couldn't live together after a few years of marriage and mm -hmm. decided to get a divorce. But then they loved the house so much that they didn't want to leave the house, so they shared the space. <laughs> and that's where the drama starts. You know, you know what's going to happen. You know, the, the, the woman brings a man home, the man is spying on her, the oh. man brings a woman home. So it's just all the drama. And I think that for me, the director, the Shirley from Pomaso, who's the writer, director of the, of the story, wants to touch on a very um, sensitive subject but made it very funny. Yeah. You know, so at the end of the day, communications lines, lines were left open. Um, we're, we're all saying the same thing, but we're saying it in different ways. So you say potato, I say potato, but at the end of the day, it is a potato we want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. So in marriage, there's always yeah. all these misunderstandings, mm -hmm. but does it, does it call for you to mm -hmm. sort of hate each other completely that you want to be apart? Mm -hmm. And even if you're apart and you are left in the same room or under the same shelter for a while, how do you rectify things? So yeah. communication is you know something that... But it's very funny. The dialogue in the, in the movie is just amazing like yeah. it's you you wouldn't even think i mean we we also look at divorce not in a traditional way you know because usually when there's a divorce there's always some the mother-in-law who takes sides and whatnot but this mother-in-law is quite different you know whether she took sides or whether she was a median we don't know but i mean i won't be able to come out tomorrow and just see how the story unfolds what time is it it's at 7 p.m mm -hmm. at the silver bed cinemas and it is a romantic comedy it's hilarious. I mean, Chris Atto was in there and nobody has seen Chris Atto the way he is in that movie. He I was doing some moves. Slapstick, <laughs> funny, <laughs> silly, goofy. Yeah. And he plays my houseboy. So. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Levels don't change now. <laughs> my <laughs> sexy houseboy. But we're going we're to use this opportunity to congratulate um, Jocelyn um, on all her achievements. And of course, we've been seeing on social media all these awards that she's been picking around the world. And she recently got the best female, um, the best the best actress, actress right? female, yes, at the female. Toronto yeah. Nollywood Film Festival. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. And of course, even more so to Shirley Frimpong Manso. Yes. We're talking about vim, vigor, resilience. Yes. It's not easy when you're yes. a woman with a big dream. So congratulations to them. Yeah. So now let's finish up nicely. Solution, solution, solution. Just going to start with you. You've got 30 seconds. Okay, ultimately, I think that we will all say what we, what we think. You know, mm. I'm saying she should leave. She should run. She should walk away from this guy, just like Mama C is saying. But ultimately, it's up to her. You know, we can all say what we want to say. But when the time is right and she's ready, she'll walk away like I did. You know what I mean? But... It's, this is a toxic relationship, and it's, it's, it's only a matter of time is going to become something really nasty, yeah. uh, if it hasn't already, you know. Mm. So I think that ultimately we'll all say what we want to say, but it's up to her to want to walk away. Yeah. Fifi, my darling. You're 25. Oh. You're beautiful. You're wonderfully you made. Saying? You have a <laughs> lot of potential. <laughs> Believe. I know a thousand and one men out there for you. Walk away. Something better is coming to you. Just oh, walk wow. away. That's nice. gotta love it. That's deep. Mommy Kathy, you've got the last word. Been said, I, I would just tell my baby, the relationship is not for you. You know? Yeah. You are too valuable mm. to just degenerate to a level where somebody uses you as hand napkin. Mm. Mm. You don't do Ooh. that. Don't. Place a value on yourself and love your unborn children. I love that. That is oh. beautiful. Love your unborn children. You know love what I have boys. to say is, to you are the that. only one going through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. You might be lonely, but you're not alone because so many other women and girls and young ladies have been through something similar. 
if it wasn't a relationship they could sever themselves away from it was something in their life so it's not new but what is new is that it's your personal experience and we want this to have a happy ending and ideally that happy ending ends with you being completely happy confident secure resilient and a powerful woman you know what I say at the end of the day really if you want to achieve and conquer the world it's not going to be up to you it's going to be up to you and your God pray hard play hard but also know deep down inside that you're a beautiful woman i'll see you next week wednesday again thank you so much to my beautiful guests and when we come back haha, we'll be reading more letters god bless you 100 percent